I need to know why is it, or I want it said, why is it that the identification with the I or the, these never ending thoughts, why do they create suffering? Well, it's just the ego is, at bottom, it is itself a kind of contraction. I mean, when you look at what you, your, this feeling of self is, right? So I mean, let's just talk about what the, the, the sense of self is. The sense of self, for most of us, is not a feeling that we're identical with our bodies. Most people don't feel identical with their mm-hmm. physical bodies. They feel like they're passengers inside their bodies, right? They, they're like, my body's down here. Like, these are my hands. These are my legs. You know, I obviously care about these things. You know, if, if you know, I, I, you know, this, these where my pains and pleasures are coming from. But I'm up here in the head, and I'm a kind of passenger. I'm a witness of this. Uh, and if you look, I mean, most people, when they try to pay attention, they try to find themselves. They try to, you know, they, uh, they try to meditate. They feel that they're a locus of attention in the head, behind their face, behind their eyes, you know, looking out at the world. And the world is not self. You know, you're, you're over there. I'm looking across space at you. I'm here behind my face. And my face is a kind of mask, really. I mean, it's like I'm not, I'm not identical to my face. I mean, I, I, it's, it states matter to me. Like if I have some weird expression on my face, you know, like someone said, like, well, we're gonna, can we take a picture of you? And you can't figure out how to smile and you're, you feel uptight. Like you're, you're reading the state of your face as I mean, your emotions are playing on your, on your face, right? The, the signature of the emotion you're feeling has a lot to do with what you feel in your face. Um, and it feeds back into your mind. You know, if you force yourself to smile, you, you, can, you actually feel a state of happiness coming in your, in your mind. Uh, but people feel like they're behind their face in their head, right? And so that you know, kind of homunculus, that, that, that person in the head, which we know doesn't make any sense neurologically. There's no place in the brain where there could be a little, you know, consciousness that is one thing, that is this stable self that's looking out through the eyes, right? Uh, there's a flow of experience, and, you know, it's, it is invoking, you know, many regions of the brain at all times. And there is no, you, you are identical to this flow of experience, this, this stream of consciousness is what you are as a matter of subjectivity, right? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that it's not arising in the brain or that bodies aren't real or that there's no physical universe. I'm saying as a matter of experience, there is just this flow of consciousness and its contents. And yet we seem to put this unchanging center to it. And that is a, the, the, what, what that is, you know, what, the, what is giving us that feeling, that there is an unchanging center to this flow, is this sort of, this contracted identification with thought. It is a kind of thought. It is just each moment of, you know, if I'm saying something and it doesn't make sense or it's, it's, it sounds like bullshit, the, part of, the, part, the, the, the experience in you which says, oh, that's not right, right? That feels like you, right? I mean, you're not, you're not witnessing it as an object in consciousness just arise and pass away, it sort of has come up from behind and it just feels like, that's me, right? And, but that thing is always happening, that that's me feeling is always happening. And so you just feel like you're in your head behind your face, right? Well, for two reasons, there's two sides of this coin. So much of, our, of, of what we're thinking is making us miserable, right? So much of it is unpleasant, so much of it is causing anxiety. We got, we, you look at your to-do list, you got 50 things on it, you just feel like, oh my God, there's just, the day is not long enough, right? This is, you know, the state, and that's a good, you know, that's a, you know, a high class problem to have, right? There are, many, you know, there are worse problems. Uh, this is the state we're in. And the obverse of that is when we're really just connecting with life in a joyful, creative, beautiful way. Like when you look out the window and it's the most beautiful sunset ever, and you are just looking at the sunset, right? You're not, you're like, you're fully connected with its beauty. Uh, those are all moments where you're losing this sense of, of self. But the difference between meditation and those moments is that you're not really aware of losing the sense of self in those moments. You're not, you're not really aware of what is uh, freeing about those moments, and you can't do it in other circumstances. Like, like you can't, like, you know, I need, the, I need the beautiful sunset. Just looking at your shoe isn't good enough for me, right? But with, with meditation, I can actually look at your shoe in the same way that I look at the sunset. Right? So that's the, like, what's, what's, what's happening for people, most people, is that they're waiting for the world 
to give them a good enough reason to just be present and to be present so fully that they lose their sense of, of self, right? That they're no longer behind their face, you know, just waiting for something good to happen, mm-hmm. right? Or, or figuring out how to change the, the experience enough so that, again, they can stop, they're, they're no longer at war. I mean, we're, 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 to a greater or lesser degree, we're always at war. I mean, we're, we're always fighting something. You know, there's always this like, you know, you're always noticing something wrong. You're feeling uncomfortable in your body. You're reacting to something that somebody did or you thought they did. You're navigating a social encounter that seems off kilter. You know, it's awkward and like you're trying to figure out what to say. And that, was, that sounded stupid. And you know, like you're, you're, you're just being blown around. And the moments where you really feel good are moments where you can, you, or, there, there isn't a, a coming to rest, right? Where it's not about the past or future. You know, it's, it's not even about, it's not about half a second ago, and it's not about half a second from now. And the ultimate version of that is to, ju- to uh, entails the dropping of this, this sense of self. 